Okay, students, this is a special type of problem. And this isn't one we really covered at length, so the video should hopefully help you a lot in this regard. Now, this is an absolute value problem. And I typed the absolute value problem just a little bit off here. Sorry, let me fix that real quick as I'm talking to you. The absolute value problem in this case, since it's absolute value and an inequality, is what's called a conjunction problem. And what I need to do, since an absolute value has a positive answer and a negative answer, I need to split this problem up into two different answers. One where my answer is negative, and I'm going to keep my less than or equal to symbol. And my negative answer will always be on the left side of my inequality. Do keep that in mind. I'm going to write, type in the word and. I don't have a space function on this program. That's the only drawback. Otherwise, this is really one of the great programs to work with. And then I'm going to keep my positive answer. And my positive answer will always stay on the right side of my equation. Now, I can't do any substitution here because of the two reasons. One, I have a whole range of answers. Because, I mean, it's telling me, like, letter A is negative 8 is more than M, and which and M is more than 4. There's just too many complicated situations here. So this is one of the cases where I don't recommend a substitute. I'll just actually solve this from beginning to end. So the next thing I have going on is, well, let's solve for each inequality separately. So in my first problem, I have positive 8 on my inequality. So let's subtract positive 8 from both sides. If I subtract positive 8 from negative 24, I'll wind up with negative 32. And the less than sign is going to stay the same. Less than or equal to sign is going to stay the same. And 8 minus 8 is going to be 0. So the only thing left on the right side of my inequality is going to be 4m. Still keep the word and because I'm joining the two together at a later time. And in this case, I'm subtracting 8 from both sides of this inequality. So 8 minus 8 would be 0. So the only thing I'll be left with is 4m. And the inequality sign is going to stay the same. And I'm still going to have 8 minus 24, which will be 16. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 4 into both sides of, of each inequality, actually. So in this case, 4... When I divide 4 into negative 32, I'm going to wind up with negative 8. I'm going to keep my inequality symbol the same. And 4 divided by 4, well, the 4s will cancel. The only thing I'll be left with, with is m. Keep the, the and there, even though I, I wish I could space it, but I can't. And so try to divide by 4 on both sides of my second inequality. Well, 4 divided by 4, it cancels. I'll be left with m. Keep my inequality sign are less than or equal to symbol the same and 4 divided by 16 is 4. So if I notice I'm going to join both m's together that's what the, and, the word and is for. The word and brings things together. So since I'm going to conjoin them together I'm just going to rejoin these into one statement and that statement will just stay exactly the same. I see negative 8 I'm going to type negative 8 I see the less than or equal to sign, I'm going to write the less than or equal to sign. I see the m both times, but since I'm joining them, I'm only going to type it once. I see the less than or equal to sign, I'm going to write the less than or equal to sign. I see the number 4, I'm going to type the number 4. Now which answer matches all that? Let's see, not A, because A, they're both pointing to the right, that would be more than. B, the word or is there, that's not what I'm looking for. C has negative 8, less than or equal to m less than or equal to 4, that matches up with what I'm looking for, and that's your answer. I hope this helps.